Hi, I just want to sell you a whole bunch of stuff. Don't you want to answer the phone so I can market my product? You know that feeling when you're chilling on the couch, watching some TV, your phone rings and it's an unknown number. Is it a scam call? Is it a marketing call? Is it something urgent? Well, if you got the Pixel 3, there's a new feature called Call Screener and I'm going to show you how that works. Hey, welcome to another Talking Tech with a Techie Guy. My name's Liron Segev where I make technology simple. If you're into phones, how to, gadget and apps, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. Okay, so now I'm gonna call from the BlackBerry phone to the Pixel 3 and you can see that it says screen call. Hi, the person you're calling is using a screening service from Google and will get a copy of this conversation. Go ahead and say why you're calling. So that's the audible message that the person dialing will hear when you use screen caller. Now, let me show you the next stage where I am going to be actually saying the reason I'm calling. Hi, I just want to sell you a whole bunch of stuff. Don't you want to answer the phone so I can market my product? Come on, not spam. I promise. So it did a really good job in converting the audio into text, even with my South African accent. It got a couple of things wrong, but overall it was pretty cool. And now I can choose to either take the call or hang up. And when I hang up, this is what happens. Sorry, they can't take the call right now. Thanks and goodbye. Okay, so a bit of a harsh ending to a call, but um, at least they get the message. Speaking of calls and settings, let's go into that. And I'm going to show you a couple of other tips and tricks within the call settings. Go into there and you've got something called quick responses. Here you've got an opportunity to have pre-scripted some responses. You can automatically send a text message to somebody that's calling you. Now you can't add any more, but you can edit the ones that are there. Or at least I haven't found a way to edit more. Now block numbers, if you've added a blocked number, it will appear here. So you can then unblock it or keep those numbers blocked. It's all under the blocked numbers list. As you go further down, now you're going to see something called the caller ID and spam make sure on the Pixel 3 that both of these are enabled and that's going to really give you a bit more protection from those robo calls. And finally, as we go down, call screening and here you're going to see the difference between the voices that it has. Hi, the person you're calling is using a screening service from Google and will get a copy of this conversation. Go ahead and say why you're calling. Hi, the person you're calling is using a screening service from Google and will get a copy of this conversation. Go ahead and say why you're calling. Of course, that's the pre-scripted stuff that Google has. You cannot go and edit that or change it. That's just the voice they're going to hear. Well, I guess robocalls are going to have a harder time getting through to us. I give that technology a thumbs up and give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. If you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Check out some of these other cool videos and I'll see you on the next episode. Because that's Tech Simple. Cheers for now. Wait, 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 wait,